So editing a video can be really time consuming and I'm not talking about the creative part here because doing all the little cuts and tweaks just takes time. But everything I can do to speed up my editing workflow I am really excited about. And after doing all my edits really slow for a very long time, like literally going back and forth and doing almost everything only with the mouse cursor, I found out how you can easily speed up your workflow so much by using keyboard shortcuts. So today I want to give you guys a quick rundown on the keyboard shortcuts and editing tools I use the most and how you can improve your editing workflow by using them too. By the way, if you're new to the channel, my name is Tom Streller, I'm a filmmaker and on this channel I cover everything filmmaking related. So if you're into this, make sure to subscribe to not miss any upcoming videos. I guarantee you won't regret it. So first and foremost, it's really important to work as efficient as possible. So you don't want to hover over the entire keyboard all the time just to get to your basic editing tools. Rather try to put the most important ones on the left side of the keyboard so you can totally dedicate your left hand to be your tools hand. And with your right hand, you want to do the additional stuff as well as the mouse work. Now, if you don't already know, you definitely need to check out the Ribble tools, which have become my favorite tools in editing so far. Essentially, they delete parts from your timeline and automatically close the gaps for you. There's the regular Ribble delete, which just deletes the selected clip, as well as the Ribble trim previous and Ribble trim next. And they are even more exciting because they delete either the part previous or after the playhead, and then close the gap between the clips. So these tools can save you a lot of time. That is why I put them on the far left of my keyboard area. The general ribble delete and the two ribble trims are all grouped together so I can easily access them blindly. Also I put my add edit key to quickly place a cut at the current position as well as the rate stretch to change the timing of a clip right next to them. I recommend to put the type tool somewhere near because at least for me this is something I use a bunch of times in every video. As well as the razor and the selection tool right next to each other so you can toggle between both of them quickly. Of course I left the space key to play stop and as for the left hand these are my essential tools so far. As for the right hand as I said before I mainly dedicate this to use the mouse but I got a few important tools set up here as well. I put the zoom in and zoom out to the far right and these are the keys I use probably the most with this hand. Of course you can also do this with your mouse but I feel like it's way faster to just toggle between those two keys. Also I've put the nest and marker tool in that area as well as the shuttle keys and this is where it gets exciting again. Because I recommend to use the right hand keys for a lot of the playback options. For instance with the shuttle tools you can quickly play through your clips forwards and backwards in different speeds by clicking multiple times. As for the arrow keys, I left them to the default because I really like the ability to jump to the previous or next edit as well as going through the footage frame by frame. The enter key is set to render selection so that I can quickly render some effects heavy clips. And on top of my right hand workspace are the marker in and marker out keys to quickly set those for the current sequence as well as the clear key which is pretty self-explanatory. And that's it guys, this is my simple keyboard layout which saves me a lot of time in my daily work. And even though you don't need to adapt all of my shortcuts, I recommend to check out some of the tools because for instance the ribble tools were just mind-blowing to me. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more filmmaking related videos like this one and I hope to see you guys in the next video.